welcome to the live stream. Continuing playing back to the future of the game. Um, Marty McFly in disguise here. Because we went back in time to fix time and we messed up time. So, yeah. Doesn't really matter what you do in time travel. You travel back in time, you mess with everything. You step on a blade of grass, accidentally kill a microorganism, you have changed the future forever. You think Doc Brown would have just made a bubble that you could just observe? I did not notice she was here. Like, hello? Absolutely Pardon me, sir. From the way you're dressed and your general aura of seediness, I can infer only one thing. You're heading for Tannen's speakeasy. Am I right? Why, no, I do not partake of the devil's nectar. Uh, no? At least you possess enough shame to lie about it. Unfortunately, I don't have the power to stop you, but I beg you to tarry here a few more seconds and listen to my song. I cannot tarry. Me, 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 me. What in heaven's name? Oh, sorry, Miss Strickland. Just a little experimental prototype gone momentarily awry. Mr. Brown, why is there a dog in that vehicle? Why? Well, well to advance the dies. human condition, of course. Hello, Sonny. Can't put a human Sonny? in there. Mr. Crockett, what are you doing in that getup? Always look like this. It's just my new look. I'm trying to prove that you can dress like a gangster without being a gangster. You know? How exciting! You'll have to give me an exclusive sometime. Right now, I've got some souls to save. And you'll have to get an eyeful of my newest experiment. You're not angry about the rocket drill? <sighs> Water over the bridge. I've moved on to bigger and better things. Come by the gazebo when you get a chance. I'll be setting up. You won't believe what Ainy and I have been up to. Famous last words. All right. Now where's that speakeasy? Hey, Edna. Oh, Mr. Crockett, what can I do for you? What's Kid Tannen been up to for the last two months? Didn't you hear? It was in all the papers. I've been, uh, traveling. Well, the feds were all set to arrest Tannen on tax evasion charges. Seems they'd gotten Tannen's books from his accountant. I heard something about that, yeah. Well, the accountant disappeared, unsurprisingly. But the feds still thought they had a case. After all, they still had the books, right? Right. Wrong. The day before the trial, the books up and vanished right out of the court's evidence locker. No. Lots of fingers were pointed, but honestly, the whole town's so corrupt that it could have been anyone. Court clerks, cops, janitors. What are you doing out here in the middle of the night? Saving people from alcohol, vice, and disorder. And also keeping a lookout for hot stories. You'd be surprised how much news breaks on this corner. Broken any stories tonight? Only the usual. Mayor Thomas trying to slink out of the speakeasy. Frankie Needles crashing his car into a fire hydrant. Nothing that'll get me the front page. So kids walking around free? Free, clear, and laughing it up in his new speakeasy. The feds want to bring a case up against him, but without those books, they've got nothing. Couldn't Kid be brought up on other charges like, say, running a speakeasy? In a perfect world, yes. But no one in town seems to care about prohibition anymore. The feds are only interested because of the lost tax revenue. You wouldn't happen to know anything about Trixie Trotter, would you? Kid Tannen's latest conquest? Well, she claims to be a lounge singer from Seattle, but my sources in Washington have never heard of her. I mean, honestly, Trixie Trotter, 
What kind of name is that? Do you know anything about Officer Danny Parker? Parker? Just another soul lost to the twin vices of booze and despair. I've asked him to tell me his story for my column. Sort of a cautionary tale, but he's never in the mood to talk to me. Whatever happened with that speakeasy arsonist? I was about to ask you the same question. Me? Don't play coy with me. I may not have any journalistically acceptable proof, but I know you had a hand in Carl Sagan's daring escape from the authorities. Didn't you think that Sagan was innocent? I used to, but after he escaped, two more speakeasies were torched in Colfax and Georgetown. That's just a coincidence. Coincidence? Or is our friend Carl a serial arsonist? I'm pretty sure that Carl Sagan didn't start those fires. We'll see. One of the reasons I'm camped out so close to Tannen's new speakeasy is it gives me the chance to catch the arsonist in the act. It'd be a great story for my column. What have you got against dogs, anyway? They're smelly, rude, completely unable to take care of themselves, and frankly, they're not very bright. If I had my druthers, dogs would be banned from public places. Harsh. We hate them. It's a harsh world, Mr. You're just Crockett. Like them? I'm pretty sure that Carl Sagan didn't start those fires. We'll see. One of the reasons I'm camped out so close to Tannen's new speakeasy is it gives me the chance to catch the arsonist in the act. It'd make a great story for my column. Ugh, I don't want to say this one. What's going on with you and Emmett? The last time I saw you, you seemed to be kind of interested in him. That was before I belatedly realized that his agreement to host my Stay Sober Society was a clever ruse to ferry barrels of hooch to his so-called laboratory. Sorry about that. Now his very presence fills me with an irrepressible urge to pick at his philosophical and intellectual foundations with every tool in my vocabulary. So you're not dating? Dating? <laughs> the mere thought of romantic involvement with that undisciplined... Techno-anarchist is preposterous. Good. Yeah, keep that attitude up and you'll be living in an apartment by yourself and crazily yelling at people through a window. Uh, nice what song. was that song you were singing earlier? Do you like it? I wrote it myself. It really gets the toes tapping at the Stay Sober Society meetings. Although I suppose that could be the shakes. Would you like to hear it again? Uh, maybe later. I'll be here all night. Hey, I got a hot lead for you. Oh, what is it? I can't tell her that. It could get him in trouble. I got a hot lead for you. Oh? What is it? Kid Tannen arrested. Oh, glorious day! When did it happen? Well, it hasn't happened yet, but it's gonna. Keep me posted. See ya. Keep fighting the good fight. What's all this? These are my pamphlets. Laying out in scientific detail the horrors visited upon those who succumb to the temptations of alcohol. Lost Fortnite. I am particularly fond of that one. It tells the true life tale of Johnny, who woke up in a pile of his own sick, completely unable to remember the previous two weeks of his life. Heavy. Actually, the pamphlets are quite light. See? Poor Gutenberg. Had he known what his printing press was going to be used for, he never would have invented it. Donate to the Clock Tower Fund. What's wrong with the Clock Tower? It's not broken, is it? Not in the slightest. Whew. 
It's just painfully drab. I'm raising funds to commission a sculptor to place a couple of handsome ornamental statues on either side of the clock face. Something to inspire the citizens to do their civic duty. Something like lions? Or gargoyles. You can't beat a good gargoyle. Sonny, you're just in time. How have you been, Emmett? I know I haven't seen you in a couple of months. I'm great, and I owe it all to you. Really? Yes. That argument I had with my father during our jet drill experiment gave me the incentive to finally quit that dreary court job. I've committed myself full-time to a life of science. So, uh, thanks for watching Einstein while I've been... Uh, away. It's been a pleasure. He's proven to be a surprisingly willing test subject. It's almost as if he's been working with me for years. More like decades. What's the story with the little car and all this equipment? Einstein and I are conducting a few experiments with this one-quarter scale model to work out a few hitches in my planned demonstration at the Hill Valley Expo in a couple of months. A radio-controlled car? No. Well, yes, but there'll be so much more than that. It will amaze the world. Aha! Got it! Got what? I'll show you! Ready to go, Einstein? Watch this! When this baby hits 23 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious cow flop. Einstein! No! Get him out of there! Not to worry. I've got a fail-safe eject mechanism around here someplace. See? Nothing to worry about. Nothing. I'll go see if I can find something to help. Or someone. Hey, Doc. How's the room? It's a little cleaner than I would have imagined for a depression era flop house. How are your investigations going? I haven't really made any progress with Trixie yet. Well, get out there and make some. If she doesn't blow the whistle on Kid tonight, he may never be brought to justice. Why didn't you tell me I'd run into your younger self tonight? Because I don't remember being out here tonight. Clearly, your interactions with my younger self two months ago have slightly altered my personal timeline. I never have the nerve to perform public experiments like he's doing. No matter, those experiments will be forgotten once I've seen Frankenstein. Frankenstein? Yes. Right now, my younger self is fiddling around out there with rocket propulsion systems for his demonstration at the expo. The thing that'll kick off your scientific career. Exactly. Now, the rockets are a horrible idea, and I'll soon realize that they'll never work. But eventually, I'll wander into that movie theater and see Frankenstein and clear my mind. I've kept the ticket stub from that movie in my wallet ever since. See? Why? Because it's during this movie that I'll have the inspiration for my breakthrough at the expo. It doesn't have anything to do with reanimating the dead, does it? Not the way you're thinking, no. But during that famous scene when Colin Clive turned the wheel that raised that shrouded figure into the tower and that bolt of lightning struck, well... Let's just say more than one brain was reanimated that night. Where'd you park the DeLorean? I hid it in the DeSoto lot. Nobody's buying cars these days, so it should be safe in there. Hey, who did burn down Tannen's original speakeasy anyway? I still don't know. I'd really like to find out before we go home. I never did get a straight answer about why he came back to 1931 in the first place. It's, uh, personal. When this is over, I'll tell you all about it. I'm gonna hold you to that, you know. He 
Can you explain all this? I'm confused. It's very simple. In the original timeline, timeline A, the speakeasy arsonist was never caught, creating one of Hill Valley's enduring historical mysteries. Okay. When I traveled back to 1931, I created Timeline B, in which I was misidentified as the arsonist and subsequently killed by Kit Tannen's goons. Einstein came with me, and somehow he ended up in the DeLorean when its failsafe mechanism triggered, sending it back to 1986. Which is where I came in, creating Precisely. Timeline C. You traveled back to June 14, 1931, creating Timeline C, a world in which Carl Sagan wasn't rubbed out by Kit Tannen. But Arthur McFly was served with a subpoena. And shot by Kid Tanner's goons. Yes. So you jumped back in time six hours, creating Timeline D, saving your grandfather's life, but somehow preventing Kid Tannen from meeting his date with justice. Which is why the Tannens were so powerful when we jumped back to 86. Uh Uh-huh. So now we've returned to August of 1931, creating Timeline E, in which, fingers crossed, we'll send Tannen to prison where he belongs. Got it? Sure. Good. One question. What? Can you explain all this? I'm confused. Why are Tannins always such jerks, anyway? Uh, it's hard to say. Rogue Neanderthal genes in their DNA, perhaps. Emmett's not having much luck getting Einstein off the courthouse. I'm not surprised. Einstein's a smart dog, but heights give him the willies. What can we do? Hmm. I've got it. What? Just get my younger self distracted and I'll handle the rest. Just keep your head low, Doc. I'll be back soon. I'll keep an eye out for your grandfather. Don't worry, Emmett. I'm sure you'll get it right someday. Oh, I'm not worried about that. Right now, I'm more concerned with Einstein. Do you know anything about Officer Danny Parker? My pop says he's a good cop when he's not drinking. Good. Of course, now I hear he drinks all the time. You know anything about Trixie Trotter? The songbird of the Sierras? The nightingale of the north? The floozy of the foothills? Uh... Never heard of her. Man, I've definitely never snuck into Tannen's speakeasy to listen to her. What's up with you and Edna? A couple months ago, I could swear she was making goo-goo eyes at you. That was before my father had her stay sober society meeting thrown out of our house. Now she takes every opportunity she can get to snipe at me and my work. It's very distracting. What went wrong with your rocket car? I'm not entirely sure. As soon as we get Einstein down, I'm gonna go look for it. Why don't you take a break from Einstein Patrol for a minute? Maybe go see a movie or something. Thanks for the offer, Sonny. But once Emmett Lathrop Brown sets his mind on a task, nothing can distract him from his purpose. And right now, that purpose is rescuing your dog. Have you seen that Frankenstein movie yet? I hear it's pretty inspirational. Not yet. I've been so busy with my rocket car that I haven't found the time. But I'm planning on going tonight. At least I will once I get Einstein down. Well, I'll go off and see if I can get some help. You do that. I'll stay here and see if I can think of a way to get Einy off that ledge. Don't touch those! They're very sensitive! Sorry. Hill Valley Stationers. Thank you. 
cool. Frankenstein. It's locked. Guess I'll have to find some other way to rescue Heine. Need a light? Turn that thing off. I've been distilling Tannin's hooch into rocket fuel all afternoon. One stray match could light me up like a Roman candle. Einstein unless I'm standing all the way back there and I let it go to the point where I can see him but it's Hey boy, don't up. worry, we'll okay. get you down. How? Geez, Emmett, I don't know. I was just trying to comfort him. Hmm. Gotta distract this moron and how the heck can do it? <laughs> Didn't want to let me do that. He's distracted. Don't touch I... those! They're very sensitive! I come Sorry. Over here, but he doesn't get distracted enough. Let's try this. I should probably stop hanging around the town square and head off to the speakeasy. I don't think so. <laughs> Can't chloroform her. Edna! What? You know, you seem pretty, uh, passionate about Emmett. I mean, considering that you don't really like him and all. I'm passionate about everything, Mr. Crockett. Even my loathing. I came over here unless it's when... It just happens Broken any stories tonight? Only the usual. Mayor Thomas trying to oh. slink out of the speakeasy. Frankie Needles crashing his car into a fire hydrant. I will Nothing that'll get out. me the front page. Hey, I got a hot lead for you. Oh? What is it? Young scientist strands dog on courthouse roof. What? Look over there. Oh, for goodness sake. Mr. Brown. Please, Miss Strickland, not now. Can't you see I've got a rather delicate situation on my hands at the moment? My trial run... Trial run? Public hazard, I call it. And I'm sure my editor will agree. This scientific enterprise of yours represents a clear and present danger to public you know safety. You what represents a clear and present danger to public safety? Your singing voice. This no <laughs> need to get personal, Mr. Brown. Believe me, I have no intention of getting personal with you. I'm relieved to hear it. 
flying cars of all the ridiculous juvenile you notions. me, but just imagine. A world in which traffic jams and car crashes are a thing of the past. Well, I might be more inclined to listen to you if your maiden voyage hadn't ended in a crash on one roof and a stranded dog on another. I'm working on getting him down. Heine, how'd you get down? Clever dog. Well, fortune favors you tonight. But I warn you to be more careful in the future. Dogs wow. always land on their feet. How to get that rocket car back down? Hey, boy, how you doing? Good dog. Testing, testing. Sibilance, sibilance. Hey, quit playing with my equipment. Sorry. Emmett! No, no, no time for chit-chat. I've got a rocket car to recover. Emmett! You get down from there before you hurt yourself! Hurt myself? <laughs> You're far too cautious, Miss Strickland. Who sent you? Ulysses S. Grant. What did you bring me? Meat and potatoes. What's the word? Words are for wimps. Cabbage crates. Must be for the soup. Ew. Hoover 28. A chicken in every pot. How's that working out, Herbie? Who died and made you boss? Boss Hog? What will you do when I send you away? Wait till Wednesday? Where you born? Borneo. Welcome to L Kid, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to once again present the hottest little number this side of the Rockies. And when I say my pleasure, I think you all know what I'm talking about, am I right? So let's have a big L-Kid welcome for the one, the only, 
Trixie Trotter. They say I'm crazy, got no sense, but I don't care. They may or may not mean offense, but I don't care. Out of my way, kid. I got some sorrows to drown. You talking to me? Yeah, jerk. I saw you making eyes at my Eunice. Oh, lay off, Ernie. He's kind of cute. You think you can just waltz in here and make a play for another fella's girl? You could put up your dukes if you want. But I'll say no, because she's kind of, uh, homely. Give me a break. She's not my era. Now you're gonna insult her? I ought to paste you one right on the- Let him go, Ernie. Jeez, you're a mean drunk. Hello, Trixie. Nice memory, Excuse dull me. face. Are you Trixie Trotter? That's what it says on my dressing room door. At least, it would if I had a dressing room. I really like your voice. Thanks. You should hear me when I ain't so under the weather. You're sick? Oh, yeah. Sore throat. That's why I'm giving Q-Ball so many extended solos tonight. I kind of wondered about that. What's a nice gal like you doing with a guy like Tannen? Oh, kid ain't so bad. He just takes some- Hey, Toots. Any chance you could sing that can-can number? The guys really love the way it shows off your, uh, assets. Whatever you say, kid. <laughs> and quit lazing around. I ain't paying you to yak with the drunks. You ain't paying me at all, you bum. What were we talking about again? You were telling me what a great guy kid is. <sighs> yeah. I guess he is a pretty crummy boyfriend, but until my insurance policy checks out, I guess I'm stuck with him. Insurance? Yeah. Look, I may not be the brightest bulb in the marquee, but even I know, you don't break up with a creep-like kid without something to keep him from going all crazy on you. What's this insurance policy all about? Are you kidding? There's only one person I trust with my secrets, but I ain't seen him in weeks. You don't mean... Artie McFly. Artie McFly. You know him? Not as well as I thought. Before he took a powder, Artie was tutoring me in all sorts of stuff. Etiquette, philosophy, accountant. He's a regular renaissance man. He even had one of those smart guy professor's pipes, see? Can I borrow this? Sure. I've been secretly working on my get-out-of-kid card for weeks now. But Artie's the only one I trust to check my work. You can't be too careful when you're dealing with a maniac like Kid, you know. I don't care. What are those? Are they lyrics for one of your songs? I haven't memorized them yet. Hey, if I arrange a meeting with Artie, could you use that insurance of yours? Use it? Heck, if what I'm sitting on pans out, I could send that bozo all the way to the big house. I'll see what I can do. Hey, you can trust me. Come on, what's the dirt you got on Kid? Nix on that. I ain't spilling nothing till I talk with Arthur Mc... Oh, F-L-Y. Do you know Sister Christian? I don't do religious tunes. How about Stairway to Heaven? I sing popular songs, kiddo. You want hymns? Go to a church. So uncultured. How about, uh... Maybe, uh... Gloomy Sunday? That was made in the... 
mid late twenties. I see you'll you'll take early black singers style but you won't sing their songs. Okay. You know what you'd sing great? This one song by Take it up with the piano player. He does the set list. Break a leg out there. Thanks. She's supposed to turn on Kid Tannen tonight. Okay, Doc, if you say so. Hey, back off, kid. I'm trying to entertain some people here. You in? Why not? Maybe uh, take some Wesley Snipes advice. Always bet on black. Something tells me black's gonna hit. Seven. Damn. Uh, gambling addiction. You in? Okay, seven was red. Um, let's put on black again. Twenty three. Yeah. Do one more time. You in? Black again. Seven. Damn. I'll kill you. It doesn't hit seven. Ah, the, the odds. The odds. I'll murder you. Murder. I can't even get to you. There's a cop here. I don't care. Can I bet on seven? You win. Twenty-three and seven. We're about. To, you know what? Let's, Let's go, odd. go for odds. It's going to be even. And black. I know it. Eight. Rats. Fuck you. One more time. I you win? this addiction under control. Stop. I'm going to put red. it all on red. Two. <sighs> I hate you. This game is rigged. MP the shrew up. didn't burrow deep enough. Checkerboard Charlie removed from the board. I guess someone jumped him. Hmm, looks like someone's about to be added to Tannen's Wall of Fame. Hmm, looks like someone's about to be added to Tannen's Wall of Fame. Hmm, looks like someone's about to be added to Tannen's Wall of Fame. It only lets me look at two. Hmm, looks like someone's about yeah. to be added to Tannen's Wall of Fame. Talk to the drunk cop. Please don't be Hey, I know you. You're... Parker. Ask for Danny, Danny Parker. Hill Valley PD. Uh, have we met? Y you look familiar. Nah. Well, stranger, sit down and have a drink on me. I hear you've been having troubles. Troubles? Buddy, nobody knows Thanks the troubles I've thing. seen. Want to talk the about troubles. them? Do, do I? Do I? Yeah, I do. Listen, it all started when this car... Every morning, every evening, ain't we got fun? Not much money, oh, but honey... Yeah, now about those troubles. 
Oh, I don't want to wallow in misery. I came here to get happy. Hallelujah! In the winter, in the summer, don't we have Would you be drinking so much on duty? Probably not, but this joint ain't open when I'm off duty. So about those troubles. Troubles? Ha! <laughs> I don't want to talk about all that depressing stuff. I want a party! Whee! Shouldn't you be arresting Tannen? For what? Well, for running a speakeasy, for one thing. Well, I like this speakeasy. So there. Besides, if I arrested him, I'd have to arrest you and me and everyone else in here. And that's just way too much work for one little cop like me. Yeah, too much paperwork. See you later, Danny. I'll be here. I'm supposed to get this guy to arrest Kid Tannen tonight? Louis the Louse, squashed in his prime. Bucktooth Langley, bit off more than he could chew. Chuckles Lenart, he didn't get the last laugh. Not a pretty bunch. Not a pretty bunch. Hey, bartender. What'll it be? So about this, uh, portrait gallery of yours. What about it? What's it all about? Who are those guys? <clears throat> the caricatures hanging along the Wall of Honor commemorate those who are no longer with us on account of having ticked off one Irving Kid Tannen. They're the guys the kids killed? Well, of course not. They're just a bunch of guys that Kid didn't particularly like and that at a later date turned up dead. It's a, a, what do you call it, a, a circumstantial coincidence, yeah. What are you drawing? Another celebrity caricature. You drew those? Prohibition ain't gonna last forever, bub. I gotta have a skill I can fall back on when all this goes away. What can you tell me about Trixie? You trying to put the moves on kids, dame? No way. Good, because if you did, I'd probably be hanging you on the wall of honor. Know what I mean? So is your cold all better? My cold? Yeah, when I saw you a few hours ago, you were sneezing like crazy. Mister, I ain't had a cold in over two months. Oh yeah, right. Sorry. Wrong guy. Think you could do a caricature of me? Sure. Presto! That really doesn't look like me. I didn't have much to work with. Who are you working on now? Boris Karloff. What do you think? Not bad. What's Parker's problem? Ah, Danny Parker. Now his problems follow him around like a pack of wolves. Really? Oh, yeah. Job troubles, dang troubles, psychiatric troubles, you name it. You get him in the right frame of mind, he'll talk your ear off about him. I'll have a drink. What's your poison? Peps, uh, on second thought, forget it. Suit yourself. Thanks for the talk. Next time, order a drink. This ain't no library, you know. Come to me, my melancholy baby. Cuddle up and 
Danny. You. So about those troubles. It all started on uh, June 14th. I was chasing down one of Tannen's boys when this uh, this car, straight out of Buck Rogers, popped up out of nowhere and ran my car off the road. No. And later I, I lost track of a witness. The poor schlub hasn't been heard from since. That wasn't your fault. And then, to top it off, I somehow managed to lose custody of an 80-year-old arsonist. When not one, but two of those godforsaken space cars showed up and whisked him away. <laughs> That's unbelievable. That's what the chief said. Demoted me on the spot. My family sent me to a psych psychiatrist because they thought I was seeing things. And worst of all... My gal Betty left me, because she thinks I'm a bad provider and a head case. <laughs> Betty, as in Jennifer's grandma Betty? <laughs> what? Listen, Danny, it's really important that you get back together with Betty. Oh, that ship sailed. What the heck with her? I got a little secret that'll set me up with women twice as classy as Betty will ever be. You've got a secret? What is it? I don't think I should tell you. When I'm sad like this, I don't think straight. But listen. Yes? I like you. You're my new best friend. You know, drinking that much is really bad for your health. What are you, my mother? More like future grandson-in-law. What? Never mind. So about that secret. I don't think I should tell you. When I'm sad like this, I don't think straight. But listen. Yes? I like you. You're my new best friend. See you later, Danny. I'll be here. Song. Whisper in my ear so no one can hear. Secrets are for sharing love, they're not meant for blaring love. Whisper in my ear so no one can hear. Shh. Whisper in my ear, let me read you soft and clear. Don't make it for TC Mark. Danny, make it you. Clear. So about that secret. Oh yeah, my secret. Well, you're my pal, so I can tell you, but don't let it get out. I've been working for Tannen for over a month now. What? It's true. All I gotta do is look the other way while evidence is getting destroyed or a truck full of gin is coming across the county line and Tannen makes sure an extra bunch of bills makes their way into my pay envelope. Great deal, huh? There's nobody near. No, not a great deal. What's the problem? People need to drink, right? As long as no one's getting hurt, why shouldn't Daniel J. Parker make a few bucks on the action? Just whisper, whisper. But people are getting hurt. Kid's a killer. Ah, that's just rumors and circumnavigational evidence. Although. That wall of fame is pretty spooky. Oh God, I've made a horrible mistake. I thought if I could get my hands on some money, that Betty'd take me back. But when she finds out what I'd done, she'll never even talk to me again. What have I done? <laughs> Lady in the background's listening. 
Come on, Danny, pull yourself together. It's not so bad. Not so bad? I'm a corrupt cop who's lost his only chance at true love. How's that not so bad? <laughs> you know, drinking that much is really bad for your health. What are you, my mother? More like future grandson-in-law. What? Never mind. I guess now I know why you won't arrest Tannen. You're working for him. Bingo! Trust me, things will get better. Just keep listening to the music. Why? None of the words help anymore. <laughs> I don't think there's anything in this speakeasy that can turn this guy around right now. Hang in there, Danny. Oh, God. Maybe another song? I don't care. Angry song, sad song, happy song. Sad song, secret song. I don't care. Let's do an angry song. This feeling that has me in its grip What has me on the edge of curling my lip Worse in the blues or the front page news It's rage, I'm overflowing I've asked my doctor and psychiatrist too They tell me that there's not a thing I can do There's no consoling and there's Danny, no controlling you. This rage, I'm overflowing with rage I guess now I know why you won't arrest Tannen You're working for him Daytime, There you go Anytime at all, I'm you know, drinking that much is really day. bad for your health. Summertime what are you, my mother? Oh, damn it. More like future grandson-in-law. What? Never mind. Volcanoes Trust me, things will get better. Rest. Just keep but listening to the music. Why? None of the there's words help anymore. I, <laughs> I don't think there's anything in this speakeasy that can turn I'm this guy around right now. Hang in there, Danny. Oh, God. Just don't work anymore. song I guess and if that don't work last option is I don't care Things will get better. Time Just keep listening to the music. Why? None of the words help anymore. <laughs> I don't think there's anything in the speakeasy that can turn this guy around right now. In the meantime, in between time, you know, drinking that much is really bad for your health. What are you, my mother? More like future grandson-in-law. What? Never mind. Hang in there, Danny. Oh, God. I don't care. It's the lyrics to her song. Okay, well, last try. Play that song, maybe he'll say something. But I doubt it. The song you wrote, but it's somebody else's song? Got no sense, but I don't care. They 
may or may not mean offense, but I don't care. You see, I'm sort of independent. I am my own superintendent. My star is on Danny, the you. That's why Trust I me, care. things will get better. I Just keep care. listening to the music. Why? None of the words help anymore. <laughs> I don't think there's anything in this speakeasy that can turn this guy around right now. Hang in there, Danny. Oh, God. I don't care. I don't care. If I do get the mean and stony stare. If I never Hmm, looks like someone's about to be added to Tana's wall of fame. Poor bastard. Way down in Louisiana, down in New Orleans. Eh, man, maybe not. <laughs> hey, I do the singing round here. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? Nice caricatures up there, huh? Yeah, Zane's an ace cartoonist. But it's kind of hard for me to look at all those faces knowing the guys they belong to are all six feet under. Hey, your songs seem to have a big effect on Officer Parker over there. I am humbled and gratified that my musical gifts have fallen upon such receptive ears. Break a leg out there. Thanks. Hey! Take a hike, squirt. Hey, nice suit. Where'd you get it? Costume shop at the mall. Uh, I, I had it custom made. Yeah? Quality material. Who are you? Where you from? The name's, uh, Sonny Crockett. I'm one of you guys. Don't you recognize me? No. Come on. What's the dope? Spill it, or I'll... Go easy, kid. From the cut of the suit, I'm thinking he might be with the Valenti gang. Is that so? Uh, yes? Prove it. You ain't leaving till you show me some boner fides. I've got a little something here that might convince you. Don't. Even. Blink. It's not a real gun. It's not a real gun, I swear. It's a gift from Don Valenti. See? To your family from mine, in gratitude for your continued service, J.J. Valenti. Looks like little Sonny Crockett here really is with the Sacramento boys. You got stones, Pee-wee. I like that. Have yourself a drink. On the house. Matches, put down your gun. You look like a moron. <sighs> I'm not pulling that thing out in here again unless it's a life-or-death situation. Hey! Take a high squirt. made it seem like Tannen took it and it was a gift for him, but it's still in my inventory. Hey, kid. What is it, squirt? That's a nice place you got here. Ain't it? I picked out all the statuary myself when I was traveling through Greece. I can tell. It's got that tan and touch. Thanks. What's that wall of fame all about? That, my tiny friend, is where I pay tribute to fallen foes. Cut short in the prime of life before I had a chance to cut it short myself. They're the guys you've whacked. Whacked? Uh, rubbed out. Not many legally actionable sense, no. Whacked. <laughs> I like that. It's good to see you doing so well. The boys down in Sacramento were starting to get worried. With all due respect, the boys down in Sacramento can bite me. 
When that creepy Sagan guy burned down my speakeasy, did the Sacramento boys lift a finger to help me back on my feet? No. Well, and when that weasel accountant McFly went and blabbed to the feds, did the Sacramento boys help me get rid of the evidence? No. But I had to put three more cops on my payroll to pull that one off. Okay, but... But nothing. When you get back to Sacramento, you let J.J. Valenti know that Kid Tannen expects a little more respect for his efforts in the future. Understand? No problem, kid. How long have you and Trixie been going out? You mean knocking boots? Oh, about a year now. That's a long time. Tell me about it. I keep meaning to dump her for a newer model, but then she starts singing at me, and I remember why we got together in the first place. Love? Free nightclub entertainment! <laughs> See ya, kid. Yeah, whatever. Danny. You! Hang in there, Danny. Oh, God. I don't think there's anything else in here. You're doing it again. You're trying to steal my girl, ain't you? You know what? Yeah. Maybe. What are you gonna do about it, chicken? That's it! You're toast! <clears throat> Looks like you need to cool off for a few. Yeah, I'll get you next time. The howdy, sugar tits. Are you one of those dames that knows Sorry, how lady. to read? Sorry, lady. I didn't mean to get your boyfriend kicked out of the club. That's kind of oh, hot. water under the bridge. You want to keep his seat warm? Uh, thanks anyway. Aw, oh, he turns her down. Got her date kicked out. And then he's like, nah, you're not my type. Danny. You! Trust me, things will get better. Just keep listening to the music. Why? None of the words help anymore. <laughs> I don't think there's anything in this speakeasy that can turn this guy around right now. Hang in there, Danny. Oh, God. I guess I'll end the stream there. Hey, Artie! He's back! Oh, wait. Yeah, I'll end the stream there. Uh, catch you next time in part six. Thanks for watching.